Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. We're going to see what kind of trouble we can get into this time. What are you doing in here? <laughs> We've got an Ibex that has uh, you know, stopped by to say hello. You didn't like, I don't know, auto-tame or anything like that. No, you're just seven-year-old Ibex Ram, and you're, you're moving. Because you wanted to, to go down the river. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mr. P is dropping off some packaged survival meals. We managed to get a load of them over here into the prison. And there's still, though Natalia got the order to feed and she was next to a fine meal, so that's what she's going to use. Uh, because Schmidt is bedridden. These guys will pick up their own meals over here. Okay. But did a, oh, half a day or so of a bunch of cleanup. Brought over what I could. We still have a lot of work to do over here. Still have a few animals marked for, for hunt. Not sure that we're going to go for it now, but uh, we'll see. Maybe if it warms up a little bit. What are you? Consuming a human corpse. Oh, great. But um, if it does warm up a little bit, because we... Yeah, we're, we're officially in the winter now, but that was a, a, a cold snap that we had just experienced. So it got really cold due to that. So it may be that a normal winter will uh, allow more animals to come back in. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I worked them pretty good. They're all still pretty much asleep. Rabbit went to bed first, apparently. So he is up and about already. Okay. Um, you ran all the way down there with that to run over here to top off something over here. Ah, okay. I did add a little more of a stockpile over here to get some more steel brought into the area. So we can continue construction over here. Otherwise, just kind of waiting to see who's up and what they are up to. Catherine's doing some quick cleaning over here. It's kind of dirty in this area. Then probably should turn her into a hauler. Let's see. Klaus is still asleep. I'd love to clean up in here. And I have a feeling that uh, she's going to hop in there and clean up anyway. Whether he's ready for it or not. Housekeeping! <laughs> ah, she's going to work down in here. All right. Um, Shantigo, what are you up to? 46 and 70. So you've got room to make quite a few meals. We're at 38 right now. So when we get back up to 50, then you will won't even need to drop into these. You'll be dropping into simple meals, I guess. Hmm. I think about that. We could up the... What is... Hmm. When they eat a package meal, what does it do for them? They could just... I'm going to guess it just gives them food. Doesn't give them a plus five bonus for being a fine meal. But gives them food that is not going to spoil. I'm making the guess. Just wondering what I want to concentrate him on. I don't want him making simple meals out of, say, a bunch of meat. Because we need that meat for the fine meals. So I don't really want simple meals to get queued up again until we're stuck with just, you know, just vegetables left. Um, simples are down here. Lavish after that. Ten lavish. No longer inspired. Oh man, has it? Did that, wasn't that supposed to last for eight days? Could it have been eight days? That doesn't seem right. Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, trying to go just keep doing that. But I'm wondering though. Eventually, we're going to want ten meals in each cell. So we're looking at a hundred prepackaged meals plus ten out here in the the common room where the uh, we'll say the medical prison room and then so that's or maybe 20 out here so there's 120 we're going to need eventually uh they store in stacks of 10 we got room right now for six and one so 70 i could start making them early for the prison which we're going to start mining out here soon or we can just hold off in case they're all going to want to come over here and steal these meals what you doing you were off to grab steel. Good. Um, but we can house up to 70. Let's go that route so that happens instead of simple meals. So let's take you on up. Let's do it this way. Add a couple of 25s. There's 70. Okay. We'll take that up to 70. It'll you'll drop out of it again as soon as the, uh, the fine meals need to be worked on again. And that will keep us from wasting meat on simple meals. Okay. Um... We talked about getting all of the mortar cannons 
away from the gauntlet and into somewhere else and I thought aha finally a good use for the uh, the tactical defense structure the TDR and that looks really good you know three operators there in the middle each with easy access to the uh, the shells and you know took the roof down so it would let me move them and I thought I had something really good here and then Michael wrote in <laughs> with a little wisdom and, and I, he said maybe you need to spread those out you know one one you know well placed accidental hit boom in the middle kill all three of the operators wipe out the mortar cannons and our ability to continue fighting the siege because of one lucky strike that is right that that makes a lot of sense the only problem though is that RimWorld in its vanilla form isn't smart enough for me to say I want just 10 shells of each here and I want 10 shells of each there and I want 10 shells of each there. Instead I get no way to choose how many. So as Natalia is making them and they get delivered from the smithing table, machining table, to a place they are all going to go land on on the, you know the very closest one and we'll never get shells to the other ones so i need to figure out how to distribute these got to figure that out but i'm thinking maybe we want one of these you know here and another one probably up in here so one two and we could leave one over here i mean these bedrooms are going to go away soon this will stay though so that will be, you know, potential uh, uh, collateral damage if this is attacked. Um, though we will be doing some kind of a barn structure over here. The animals are be leaving here and getting in close to the base once the base, you know, starts to be uh, more inhabitable. So once we get clear out of here, a new barn structure shows up here somewhere. Though I'm thinking it's going to be tucked down a little bit closer. We're going to have our switching room in here, wiring going through hitting a main bus that then switches out and goes a few different directions. Unfortunately, we can't cross the river yet, so I've got no real need to, you know, send a wire up in here to deal with this stuff. But that's all taken care of probably within this space right there. So somewhere in here to here is going to be major housing for the animals. Hmm. So Unfortunately, it's an unknown right now, whether or not this is a good place or not. So, off camera, between the next episode and this one or something like that, I'll start thinking about the best layouts, probably up in here and here, for a couple of the mortars. Where the third one will be, I don't know. Be nice to get to one fast. So I'm thinking one is still going to stay here. But yeah, I think right there and right there will do something else kind of get them at least get them out of here and if I do it right see if, if the animals deliver things they don't tend to put, to take full stacks at least they don't from out here when we were hauling the hay grass out of here they would just grab a little piece whatever was in the pile and take that one and then take a little piece and that one they wouldn't walk around and accumulate everything so maybe they'll take I don't know we'll see if I can distribute from here to the other ones in pieces and the shutdown priorities up and down and try to you know carefully choreograph that anyway what has been happening since I've been jabbering along for almost 10 minutes already boy these episodes go quick when I start talking <laughs> um, prisoners there's Klaus no longer talking at his campfire which has run out good cold snap is gone and temperature in here is 70 degrees like it's supposed to be so he's talking away we'll try to keep him in view there we go recruit failed from gecko now are you going to try no nope, you're gonna go build a wooden wall what wooden wall um you are all the way out oh good uh actually stop klaus build this one that way you'll grab a stack of wood and bring it up with you then we can open these up and or bust them down whatever it takes to get the the, the heat to transfer through and yeah it looks like all the campfires have shut down that's because we don't have anybody set for hauling except for one i did have alicia set for hauling i'm seeing a lot of bodies are gone so apparently she has been good she's hauling bodies that's perfect 
Now, maybe we'll get these hauled over here before the animals uh, devour them. What are you two doing? Just buddies over here, huh? Yep. Where do Ibex go? He's not all the way down. There's some gold. Um, where did he go? And can he operate our doors? I know ours can, but he was running down this river. I don't see him anymore. Is he in our base? Divot. Don't see any Ibex in there. Uh, risk of Michael. Have to check that out. Don't see him in here. I don't know. I mean, he came through the gauntlet to get in, which suggests he didn't have to deal with the door that way. Hmm. Uh, we'll check on Michael in a little bit, but is there another Ibex anywhere nearby? Besides up all the way up into here. Guess not. So, Fox. And there was a wolf. Right there. And the Ibex have left too. Okay. So, Michael, what's up? Cathra is gone too. So, everybody's right on the verge, but they're, they're pulling out. Hello! Now, these guys we want. And they chose to go right there. Interesting. Hmm. I would like to tame them. What just happened there? We've got trained obedience one of one for something in here. Maybe this little guy right here. Okay. Which means we gotta we got to fix that. He's now assigned to sangria um miss a p i asked to mine a little bit of this out i see she is down there and rabbit is mining in what world does rabbit finally get down his his work schedule to land on mining what is going on there mining growing mining 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 right there so there's no growing there's no plant cutting and you're not set to cook as a backup like some of the other ones are. Okay, so you dropped into mining, and then when that's done, you drop into hauling and cleaning. Interesting. Well, Rabbit, let's set you to hauling next. And for that matter, Alicia's on haul. Um, let's let Miss P do her thing. Uh, who else? Cathra. What time is it? It's already 20 hundred. Okay. Well, then I'll just manually set a few people to go up and haul another load of things in, but we ran out of room, so I wanted her to chip away at these. And I see the dogs are bringing things in just as fast as we chip away at them. Yep, and there was a bunch of silver up in here. They got them. There was a 71 and even something else. I didn't notice it last time, but so that one chunk of silver I was confused about, it was actually, it, it, it did exist. Um, okay, but before we run out of time completely, Rabbit, what can I get you to do? Why don't you run up here? At least just grabbing bodies. Is there anything else of value up here? Still have some meals, and we have some shells to deal with. Okay. Um, I guess that's our value there. So grab that. 60, uh, 67 to 70. Uh, Cathra. Actually, grab it. Let me glance here quick. Okay, well, after that, then you can grab a meal. And then you head to bed. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, Cathra, what condition are you in right now? You're fine. Cleaning rock rubble, where? Out over here, saying hi to Sangria. Okay, how about you then? You should have enough time and enough rest to get all the way out here for something. And I'd say that something most important would be the package survival meals. So, right there. And then, dare I do something else? What is that? That's what's left of a body. <laughs> Missing 5.8% of body parts. All that's left is the torso, it looks like. Yeah, the head's gone. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, Alicia, how you doing? <laughs> um, okay. Alicia, once you do that, how about you grab a meal and then come out and do the last of them and be done? You do that, and then come on back over here and make these go away before the uh, 
uh, the predators finish them off in the night right there and right there and that is the last okay um Kathra, i never did a i did sent you to that one okay michael does not haul he's making kibble and i'd say that's that's good okay so mr p is chipping away and that's important too so Alicia's assigned natalia i can't think of how i would get you to do any hauling here so that's a no um klaus attempting to recruit let's let that happen so sangria training wild boar 23 needs you've got rest and food enough to make probably a couple trips up here so how about you deal with the two armor vests cannot no possible place to put it away uh, cleaning, okay, Miss p has got to do her work before we can do any more of this. So Tomislav is hauling wood to deadfall trap. So he's on construction mode. Um, is that good? It might be. Uh, research, we were concentrating on, we're back to carpet making because we got the vitals monitor done. Um, all right, we'll let that happen for now. Handy, you are... Uh, hauling wood to bed. The prison? It's the only bed I can think of. Yeah, so we're going to get this going. Okay, Klaus, you were or are? No, now you're consuming a fine meal. Or you're carrying a fine meal. You're eating a fine meal. Okay. Temperatures? We started to work on that and didn't. 70 degrees? 66? 66? Over here, 67. Out in here, 62. Probably because we keep opening this door to the cold out in here, which is uh, 35. Okay. Otherwise, kind of wandered my way through the, the new surgery room. Dropped in steel hospital beds. Vitals monitors between each, three and three, with a nightstand on the outside of, of the outer two. Not going to get the bonus to the inner one unless I put one... Well here and here I guess but it kind of blocks the the path so the two middle ones are not going to have quite the advantage of the other two though I did put a dresser steel dresser one of both ends of the room to make sure it makes contact with as much as possible assuming that the hospital beds act the same way as a regular bed in regard to the dressers uh, let's check that before I see who's breaking there gives a small bonus to all nearby beds Placing more than one dresser near the same bed will have no effect. It says beds. It doesn't say, you know, parentheses and hospital beds. But I'm going to make the guess that it works. We'll find out. If it doesn't, then it'll get moved into a bedroom somewhere. No problem. Although it is steel. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe it'll be worth more. Anyway, who? Kathra. Grab that. Needs. So you are just heading down below because of observed corpses, a little pain, ugly environment, rebuffed by Shantigo. Shantigo has been saying hi to Kathra very affectionately and ate without a table. Oh my. So we are still in there and we're getting worse. We really are. Is she going to make it or is she going to be tonight's um, entertainment? We, we will see. <laughs> All right, so what else is there to do? We're bringing this stuff over here. 10 still over there. Good. Uh, 2,300. All the animals are finishing up their jobs. Resting. Yep, starting to head in and find a bed somewhere. Uh, kibble, how are we doing there? 75s. That one's loaded. I think that's the last one to get loaded. Over here, all 75s. And over here, 75 and probably some spare in here. Is that just the one? Yeah, okay. Um, lots of meat showing up. Still lots of animals to butcher. Still a little room to move around. That's all good stuff. Rabbit is grabbing a fine meal. And is he kind of done? Needs? He's done. Okay, so he's taken care of. Mr. P, once you are done with this, which I think you just finished. Ooh. So you are digging a compact machinery. Could. Oh. You know, they did all that work, but it didn't mean anything if I didn't expand the stockpile. So it's as if we still didn't have any more room. Yeah. This guy, uh, 
Good, it still fits in all those spaces. I was hoping so. All right. Well, in that case, now we have enough room. Let's get these guys set for hauling away. And Miss Peep, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spaces. What can I busy you doing all night long? You thought you were going to go dig at something. Now, the ones that are nearby, well, let's do this one. Let's at least get that one put away. So, haul. Otherwise, everything else is under a roof except for that. Let's work, although Mississippi didn't have a fast run speed. 2.47. Why is that? It's because you're over stuff. Okay, let's get you right onto that concrete. Right there. Now, your run speed is a power conduit. Okay, try that again. Now you're at 2.47. I'm confused. Let's get you... So you're not really speeding up. Is it because it's dark? Okay, do I have any way of a pop-up? Speed of movement. Doesn't tell me what makes up that number. Why are you at 2.47 and locked in? You're normally a three and a half, I think. Um, health peg leg. So let's go here. Will there be a movement? Anything beyond the, that right there? Uh, combat, social, work, global work speed. Um, I don't know. Mining speed. Interesting. So setting her off in the and all the way to the other end of the map is kind of a waste of her right now. So I guess really all I've got available is to go ahead and just clean all these up. Let's just set you to hauling, and you'll do it all on your own. So work and Mississippi right there and set you to a one on haul and take your mining down a notch um right there that's it yeah so you'll just take care of the rest all on your own after you do that one okay we'll do more mining tomorrow but right now let's get uh, as much of this stuff brought in as we can so it's not deteriorating out there so far it hasn't rained and it's nice about that Catherine's going to bed and that is the end of yet another day uh, Natalia Schmidt came down with an infection in between episodes and to the torso. So even though good blue medicine was used at that time, I set it back to herbal for uh, dealing with the infection. And we've got... There, just finished. Uh, good for 12 hours. Immunity is 98%, so she's basically fine. Infection went from minor to major. So, got to major, 67%, and she will be fine before she goes under the notch above that. So, she's done. Um, I got to looking at clothing. Just kind of, uh, what do I want here? Gear. Just kind of glancing through. 68% on a jacket, and started working down the length of it, especially the jackets. And the shirts were in bad shape. So, I set several shirts. Here's a t-shirt, 62%. 53% um, on a t-shirt. Which I haven't set for 61. So why they're still wearing them, I don't know. I've noticed a few of them are going out there intentionally to pick up dead men's clothes. Put those on. I'm not seeing it anymore. Oh, there's... Here we go. Alicia. Oh. Who has no problem with that. So she'll put them on and not get a negative. And because of her bloodlust, the game just automatically selects those for her. Interesting. Okay, so she's getting the the best of the uh, of the, of the clothes that are kind of off limits for everybody else. But because of that, I went through the the um, tailor bench and upped the numbers enough to get three or four more of everything than what we already have in storage, which is going to keep fluctuating, unfortunately, because we're still bringing in more things that are sitting out here that are going to land in storage and trigger as having made one. You know, we now have 18 of 18 instead of 17 of 18, even though we didn't make one to do that. So I have to keep upping that to make up for it. So it just takes a little bit of micromanagement. Otherwise, folks are kind of getting up. It's 4 in the morning. Handy is building wooden floors. After all this time, ha <laughs> ha she's finally getting back to things that are here in the base. Klaus is talking to Schmidt, who's up and out of bed. Good. Schmidt had a 92% chance of being recruited. 
Gecko, 93%, and Ugg, 89%. So we'll see who gets recruited first. They're both, all three a little bit difficult. Uh, we've had some 60s and 70% before that went pretty quick. But Klaus is pretty skilled at it, so... Although Schmidt with a 92% at Klaus's skill gave him only a 1.5% chance of success. Yeah, it could take a while, huh? I don't think so. Um, we've got the beginning of a day. We do. And I've still got, oh, a good 20, 25 minutes left of this episode. So, Andy, where'd you disappear to? You just built a chair and did a good job at it. <laughs> um, why do I not see Handy? She really vanished on me. She's all the way up here already. She is hauling components to wooden electric tailor bent. Oh, she's getting some of these projects going in here. Okay. Uh, tailor bench. That'd be this one. Hmm. It's not critical yet. I'm going to going to uh, divert you. Let's have you come down and do this instead. Let's bust through these. Nobody's sleeping at the moment in this room. Uh, wall. There it is. Take all these out. Let's get that rebuilt. What else is there that I want her to tear down? This stuff's not needed. At least through here. So tear these down. And that good enough for now? I think so. All these got done the last round. Need to put doors back in there. Um, I feel like there's more, but I'm not seeing them. Okay, we'll go with that. So we'll tear these down. We'll put block walls back into this one. And that alcove will be done. And there's dirt under there. That used to be the outside. Okay. And something else is under here. Power conduit. Uh, cancel that. Okay. So let's quickly put in a granite wall. Let's stop because she's already vanishing. It's snowing outside. It is. Um, where am I? Structure. Granite wall. Let's fill in that only. That's part of the alcove right there. And I'm seeing... Actually, click away. Where do you... We've got rough granite floor there, and we've got gravel there. So we're not going to be able to smooth this area. So maybe we'll leave it as wood in, in, in here. Anyway, Handy, hmm, would love to have you haul the stuff over, but I guess just have you pick up all the wood. All the wood, you'll gather the whole stack at once, and I'll stop you right there. Well, let's get past, right in there. A pig will do the rest. Why don't you build a granite wall for me? get that in. This granite wall, not truly necessary right now, though. I'll bet you bring it up to fill it in anyway. So get that one filled in, and that kind of finishes off this block. Then what do we want to do? Uh, there's dirt in here, so this needs to be a tile floor. And what are you, Thomas Slav? You are steel tool cabinet. You're starting to get things built over here. So rather than allowing all this to continue to happen. There's a sculptor's bench. They're going to work from here on. I want them working over here. So, Tomislav, let's use your skills and Klaus as well, and let's get this area habitable. Finally and for sure. <laughs> you are a wooden shelf. And it doesn't matter the quality of construction there. Same with that one, too. So, actually what I need is smoothing. I need smoothing and I need a source of heat we got to think about that. And we've got to think about potential bug infestations. That's what we need. Okay. So, Handy, yeah, you do that one. Tomislav, you come down and... Boy. These doors here. Need you to do that one. You got food. So after that, you're going to do this one. Which I assume is going to mean bring enough for both and bring enough for both. Then you're going to do this one. And what is happening over here, by the way? Let's think about this mess, because I want to fill in this too. I want to contain a good chunk of it in case bugs infest here while we're doing the construction. Then we're going to have to get some containment in up in here so that we're down to just blocks at a time to have to deal with something. I am kind of surprised we haven't had a major issue yet. I'm sure it's coming. So you are a wall that goes into there. You are a wall to there that shoots across like that. I just have to remember that, you know, 
Although we do have doors available here. Okay, we haven't finished mining, and we're not. I don't want to completely seal off an area. You know that there isn't a door there for. I don't know what's really happening here. But if we can get this going, which means the next seal is actually over here. We can put one in here though, just to get by. And actually, there isn't room for a wall. If you consider a wall there is what really what I'm building. That I'm going to put a a granite door into and then I'm going to put a vent into. So essentially what I'm building is a door and a vent. Even though you know, in reality it would be placed in a wall, it's taking the place of the wall. So there's no granite blocks involved here. So with that then Tomislav you can also fill in all the blanks there. Then Klaus who is attempting to recruit again He's got a good construction skill, but I'd really like to bring a few more people in. So let's let him. Um, Handy, when you're done, I can't really queue you up. You'll just bring the blocks and you build the one, and then you'll leave. So I'm going to have to just sit and wait. Anybody else that can build a vent? That can bring supplies to build a vent? Rabbit's asleep. Tomislav and Handy are both queued. Though she's going to be done here real soon. Someone walked right in her path. Handy, go back and do this one. Guys, stop walking in our path. Okay, now, Handy, go ahead and build this one. Where's Handy? There you are. Build that one right there just to finish off the blocks you, that you hauled over here. There you go. Now go ahead and get this wall complete. And you t No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> when they cross their path, they stop working. But she's on construction mode, so she just went immediately to the very next one. But that's where Yuta crossed her pass, and she quit there. But she'll probably pop into that one soon. We'll get these done. So once these are done, then I can haul her off to go do things over there. Tomislav, you are filling in all the blanks? No, you just went to the very... I've noticed that. When I keep a whole bunch of things, quite often they'll go to the very last one only. So if I were to tell him to, once again, do auto door. And then come over and do auto doors. Auto doors? Did I really choose auto doors for the main paths? I guess I did. I guess that's what they need to be. So you are not a door, regular door. You are an auto door. The idea that we want them to be able to move through the base quite quickly. Not as important to get in and out of their bedroom quickly, because that doesn't happen very often. But we want them to move through the whole base quite quickly. So yeah, they need to be out of doors. Which means we're going to have quite a power load on this building. But you actually need to be there. Okay, so Tomislav, you're going to go do those other things. When you can come back, you can do that one. Which means you're going to haul it. And then you're done. So I wonder if that was the case through some of these. There was something blocking it. Anyway, Handy, you are finishing up that. Then you're going to finish up this. Then you're going to grab a meal. And then you're going to hop down into mm, into here and get to work. Tomislav? That was interesting. You went to get more steel. Huh, okay. To go work over there. Huh, okay. Handy. Got it done. Okay. We're sealed there. We don't need this one in, but we're sealed. That's what was important. And we're still contained as far as everything is indoors. Yeah. Okay. Everything's correct there. So, I want to contain all of our bulkheads. And then we want to get... Hmm... We need to get bulkheads sealed enough so that we can declare something as finally indoors. Something without a vent at some point. So that is what? Is that here? It's here. Okay, let's let's seal here and here. Let's start sealing this place up so that we can maintain some kind of temperature in here. So how best to do just that? Let's put in a... this is marble over here. So structure and marble wall there and a marble auto door at this point 
I think would be best. Though we are using granite auto doors even in the, auto, in the marble, aren't we? We are. They've all been granite. So let's just go ahead and keep that, uh, that pattern. Is that what I wanted? Yeah. So you're going to be there. And you're going to tap the batteries probably no matter what I do with conduit. But where are we? 11. It's kind of dark, but that's because it's snowing. I see. Oh, that's right. I started to work on this and didn't. And I got distracted. This is going to be kind of important. Let's go ahead and chip this away. Um, orders. Mine. I didn't want to mine into this. I knew it was a good possibility something of value was going to show up in this little place. Anything else out here? Anything? These are new boomalopes. Our boomalopes are age 2 male. That's right, they're all males. Eh, we ran into that before. Mil milking males. Yeah. Female, age 7. Male, 1. Male, 4. Female, age 2. Tame. Male. Okay. Do we get the male 7? Boomalopes live for how long? Life expectancy, 15. 7 more years, and then we could go boom. By then is a good chance that another reason would have caused her to go boom anyway. Let's go ahead and tame. Okay, that's there. Let's see if we can get another couple of female boomalopes into there. What else has wandered onto the map? Like the muffalo. Nothing significant. Still have our fox over there and our wolf is over here. We do have some deer that have wandered in. Good. Um, still have all of this to haul in. Darn. Okay. And we still have bodies out here from our hunt to haul in. Okay. But we did get all everything but these two. I need to manually get those out of here so we can reset traps. And then I need to have Missa P work. Missa P, you are sleeping. Yeah. And you can still go back to mining. You don't have the run speed, so hauling is just not going to work for you. Alicia is sleeping during the day. Interesting. Needs. She, maybe I left her stuck on something, and she just kept doing it till she dropped. I don't know. That's possible. But I need somebody to go mine this. Um, Alicia, you really could use a meal anyway. And if I wake you up now, you'll be finishing your rest right about the time it's time to go to bed anyway. Um, so let's wake you up, put you over here to consume a meal. There's no need to have you on haul anymore because the bodies are done. And let's have you grab a meal and then head over and mine out this. And see if you can cut a path through there. When you do that... I'm going to leave a pause for a minute because there's a bunch of things I really want to get done during this day, if I can. Let's go after that one. And a muffalo lives to just 15 as well. Okay. So, 12, 8. So we have a female at 2. Huh. So, 10, 8. A male at 8. That's um, tame. And let's do female 12, female 10, tame. And what's the youngest male that's left? Female 8. Oh, tame you and not you. Okay. And male 11. That's it. Okay, well, we'll go with that. So tame you. Do we just say tame all of them? Do we do that? Hmm. It is a lot of feeding. But it sure be nice to bring seven muffalo with us to go do anything we wanted on the map. But it is a lot of feeding. Hmm. Yeah, I could repeat that again for a third time. Yeah, I think we'll stop at the four. All right. So with that, with that run, did we get the walls in over here? We did. Let's, hmm, I think deconstruct. I, I've seen heat down in the base trying to go through doors and see a 10 degree difference over and over again. So let's go ahead and tear this down. Deconstruct and deconstruct. Holding open doesn't do as good a job as it used to. Uh, harvesting after you deconstruct and deconstruct. Let's do those first. And it just sets you to chop down. <clears throat> 
And then I want to seal up this and see how much heat makes it through. Should be enough to turn this off. Rabbit, you are going to work on that. I would love to get this built and start using this. I really would. These are going to be just fine for a while. Hmm, but you're already up here. I'll leave you alone. But who from down here can haul some blocks for me? Let's think of it that way. Alicia, you ate? You did. Okay, so hauling blocks for me. Tomislav, you are building what? You are building auto doors. Okay, thank you. That's important. Um, Handy, you are building granite auto doors as well. Um, is it time to get traps going? It just might be. Let's have you instead. Handy. Ah, I've got to set these guys. There we go. Let's set to rearm. Handy. Let's have you do at least this one. At least those. Rabbit, you can help me right here. How about hauling this in? Since the animals aren't heading into there. Okay. And drop that off right there. Haul this in. And do not step on that trap, please. Please, please, please. Oh, oh, don't walk all the way in there. Oh. And then, you know, go ahead and do this one. Just to have it indoors. Okay. Is that the last of everything that's in the traps? It is. And I did allow the pigs into the traps. It's interesting. He shoves up every time that he waits for a door to open. But let's tell the animals both that they can no longer go in here to haul things out of the gauntlet. Um, actually, it goes like that. There to there. Like that. There and there. And the dogs, did I allow into their clear dog area I did as well so there to there all right check that one more time let's do it this way animals and wild boar like that and I just accidentally clicked let's what's what's been going on over here sangria none 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 all of you guys to red all of those two okay that's correct you can be turned on there's no more in this column and I want all the haulers to be out here so that is not you you're grazing and I think that looks okay I think so actually don't do that click away all right so Andy's going to take care of those the animals are no longer in it rabbit has moved these things at least to here that's plenty clear you you can go do what you want to do and i want someone to start hauling blocks over to those walls before we go any further into the day who is already down near the blocks Tomislav klaus klaus is building a granite wall klaus you would be perfect why don't you haul in a whole bunch of blocks there and then another batch of them over there go ahead and get this thing built and once that's done let's see sangria is still finishing these up uh, michael you are out over here butchering not making kibble and that's good that'll keep shantigo going who's doing what who left because we no longer have any wood in the stove if i'd known we were going to be here this long i would have put in an electric stove <laughs> shantigo you are what making kibble how about you refuel your own stove and get back to work good and the animals have been stocking this up double good um sangria is up there michael alicia klaus shantigo there is nobody else down there that can haul hmm okay so klaus you just have to do all that on your own so that gets that done it gets the beginning of our traps done we could do the rest of the traps too um handy since we've done every we've gotten everybody out of everything out of here wild boar is given birth we've got to be up to 30 by now let's build a new trap into there and handy add that one to your list when you're done that is the end of the traps thomas office when constructing some that's the end of the traps nice these <laughs> are going to take clothes now um yeah i'm not even going to worry about that okay so the game just stuttered freaked me out thought another raid was dropping in we're done here i want to get this done you uh, build roof right there and rabbit can I get you to do that I think I can 
Area no path. Oh, you're kidding me. We can't reach in there and build that roof? So this is considered outside now? It's considered indoor 71. You are indoor 70. Okay. What's going on here? There's a hole in the roof. 68. Let's watch this for a little bit. Wait for the steam geyser to blow. Right there. Room just shot up to 70, 71, 72. Out over here. 72, 71. Over here. 70. Huh. Well, maybe this will work. I don't know. Hmm. Handy. Could you if you if I wanted you to? No. There, there. You can't get to it. So you can't touch the roof. Huh. Well, we'll just have to wait and see what the temperatures turn out to be. As long as it says 70 to 75, this thing should not be running. Now we're indoor 68. 67, 68. Looking for the steam that just steamed up there. 70, it's transferring through the whole place rather quickly. 73, 72. Okay, well, I think it's going to do what I had hoped. Klaus, you are bringing the next load. You are up in here. And then Handy may just drop, jump into there. She's been here. Where'd she go? Handy, you grabbing wood for that, but you didn't get to this. So, hauling wood too. So once you do that, you can do this last one. And that is the end of the traps, and we're ready for the next raid. All right. So, like I have just been doing, there's lots of little piddly things to be just micromanaging over and over again to get them to get things built, stuff like that. So that's the stuff I will be doing after this episode's over. Alicia will just be getting into here, and we'll stay long enough to see this happen. Now, unfortunately now, raiders can come in if they choose to bust through this, We'll see. I don't know that they will choose that, though. Quite possible they won't. There is a rat that could be hunted. A couple of them. Zoom out a little further. Just the two. Hunt you guys. We'll have to set somebody at some point to come in and, and hunt. We'll see. But with the... Oh, they're escaping. They're saying, ah, we finally get to eat grass on this side of the, of the rock. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, that makes it a little bit easier for Zangri to get to them. She is taking kibble. Maybe to go and try to tame them already. That's possible. So let's call it done right there. It's been Noble Rambler. I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.